Happy background players, Jimbo here. Did you ever go to um, the tables and see someone flipping a coin to pick which one they're going to bet on next? I've seen that. But here's another thing about flipping coins that you may or may not know. Let's talk about it. Of course, is there really a secret uh, to knowing when there's going to be repeaters or not? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. But some good guesses, I'm sure. You know, I've done about 16 years of research in 900 live casino uh, shoes and approximately 43,000 hands. So during all that documentation, uh, I was able to really see some interesting things when it came to repeaters as well as pairs and ties and bankers and players. You know, when you go to flip a coin, you'll find that heads come up about 50% of the time, tails come up about 50% of the time. But if you flip a coin long enough, you'll come across repeaters. And that means you're going to have heads or tails uh, that will turn up several times in a row. So although the number of times one side will come up in the long run is probably about 50% of the time. It's not always coming up in intervals, but it does come up from time to time. And, you know, most of the time you'll see heads, tails, heads, tails, but then the repeaters happen and you'll get three heads in a row, three tails in a row, five in a row, eight in a row sometimes. Uh, repeaters are really a phenomenon that occurs in almost every aspect of our life, uh, yet they remain mostly unexplained. When you play a perfect basic strategy, it's almost like flipping a coin. Banker and players take turns winning and losing uh, against each other, but sooner or later there will be several hands in a row, several bankers, several players. So repeaters happen in Baccarat over and over again. Let me show you. Here's just a, a quick uh, glance at how I document those 900 plus uh, shoes. It's all put on a spreadsheet and each thing is characterized and ultimately titled. Um, I don't expect you to understand it, but I thought it'd be worthwhile showing you uh, the process behind my obsession. Uh, you'll want to get a cheat sheet, maybe. Uh, there's three that you can choose from. And if you don't want a cheat sheet, you can also get a table either for uh, ties, repeaters, or pairs. Up to you. So here's an example I wanted to show you. Uh, these are three uh, shoes, beadboards from uh, Wizard of Odd. And you can see in the uh, first row there, you've got six repeaters. So if we go down and look at the uh, repeater table, you'll see it calls for uh, 16 bankers, but it also calls for 44 players. So if the first one isn't a player, then, and it's a banker, then you look to see what the second one's going to be. And if the second one's a banker, then you really should, you know, consider to start, you know, betting banker. And you can either bet flat bets or you can increase your bets depending on um, your risk tolerance level. But uh, it does give you an indication of how the uh, repeaters uh, start to take place. You can see in uh, shoe number two, same thing. You know, you get to um, the second hand and it's players. So you go down to the chart and you look at, you know, second hand players by the way players are blue and bankers are the magenta colors uh, but you can see you know has a high probability uh, you know 20 uh, or I'm sorry uh, 10 uh, 5 uh, repeaters so you might want to take a chance and bet them uh, I usually, you know, wait for second hand, say if it's going to repeat the first hand, if that, I'll bet the third hand and the fourth hand, depending on what the um, t 
table's calling for. And you see it kind of plays out through uh, the six different shoes. You know, and again, I'm not suggesting that this is the only thing you would bet, but it does give you some insight as to how repeaters uh, work. Uh, my primary betting is players and bankers, and then I'll do secondary bets, you know, for ties, repeaters, and pairs. Up to you, but I thought it'd be worthwhile sharing that with you. Thanks again for uh, taking a look at it, and if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so. I would appreciate it.